Thanks for checking this video out. Your mountaintop news video is coming up in just a minute. Did you know that it's going to be watched thousands of times, shared a bunch of times, likes, comments, you name it, it's going to be there. Why is it your ad here? Call me. The Pikeville Police Department responded to a call Friday evening concerning the theft of what was described to dispatchers as a fake car battery. The case didn't take too long to solve, however, thanks to a built-in GPS tracker on the stolen device and a somewhat suspicious statement from the suspect himself. Pikeville Police Department received a call of a stolen battery from Diversified Gas and Oil, and uh, Officer Patrick Coleman responded to that. They advised that they had had you know, what they refer to as a fake battery stolen. Uh, well, it's actually not a fake battery, it's a real battery. It's just encased in a larger battery casing. Luckily, that battery was equipped with the GPS tracking device. So, the personnel from Diversify were able to go along with Officer Coleman and go to the area that it was pinging at. And you know, sometimes that can be like a 300 foot radius, 500 foot, it could just be a general area so you never really know. So they went to this exact address that it was given, 147 Azalea Alley. And once they got there, Officer Coma noticed the man that had the hood popped on a vehicle and appeared to be working on it. So he went and made contact with that individual. His name was uh, Joshua Johnson. And uh, when he made contact with him, he, you know, was trying to advise him of the complaint. And from my understanding, Mr. Johnson said, look, I." I had nothing to do with a the theft or anything like that and offered that information up without even being asked. According to a copy of the arrest citation obtained by Mountaintop News, upon being approached by police, the male subject immediately put his arms up in the air and stated, I didn't steal anything. The suspect then gave police consent to search the vehicle he was repairing, which is when officers noticed something strange. He got consent to search, went up, looked under the hood, and noticed that there was a battery in where your car battery would go in that particular make and model, and it you know looked like it was spray painted orange. He was spray painted orange to try to conceal it, you know, hide the serial number on it, make it look like a different battery than it was. Um, just I would say, um, like I said earlier, even though Mr. Or Officer Coma didn't need consent to search, um, he went above and beyond and got that which he offered up, probably thinking that he had concealed it good enough, which he hadn't. So he removed that battery and realized that it was in fact spray painted orange and you could still see the serial number, make and model and everything. Diversified was on scene, was able to identify it as their battery and uh, Mr. Johnson was placed under arrest for receiving stolen property and um, I believe he had some failure to appear warrants also. Johnson is currently being held in the Pike County Detention Center. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joshua Sloan.